Steel City Bakery was founded by award-winning sugar artist and baker Maurice Chef Blake Shelton, featuring an array of bright and great tasting sweet treats. Williams is now to share some delicious desserts perfect for the spring and summertime. Chef Shelton, Ooh. good to see you, or I should say Chef Blake. Yes. Do you ever get mistaken for the country <laughs> artist? You know, I do, but there's a little bit of an issue. I've never been married or divorced, so I can't be bet mistaken. Okay. okay. It looks okay. a little gotcha. different, too. So. It's the hair. Little, I think it's, it's the, the hair. hair. Yeah. It's the hair. Okay. It's the hair. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to show you all how to make my favorite famous brown butter blondies. Here. Okay. Um, so and it's going to start off with browning some butter. So um, I like to use ghee or clarified butter. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's basically just milk solids removed out of it. I like to heat it up in the pan just a little bit until you start to smell that nutty flavor. Okay. Why do you like the ghee instead yeah. of the butter? Um, just because it takes out all of the lactose. Um, you don't have to deal with the casein. Oh, so it's yes. a little bit healthier. Oh. And so now you can indulge uh, a lot more with, with okay, being Okay, so you don't have to feel as time. bad about eating that okay. brownie. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So we just brown that off until you start to smell that nutty flavor okay. here. And then I just kind of dump it all into a bowl. Anybody can do this at home. Okay. So, um, and then what we do is we have a, a, a rye of ingredients. So we got brown sugar, which we'll just dump into the bowl mm -hmm. here. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. We got a little bit of granulated sugar. And then okay. I'll have all the recipes available. This one is a little bit of, uh, it's a little healthier. So it's cane sugar. Oh, okay. Um, and then we just dump literally all of the rest of the ingredients okay. in. So that's a little bit of salt. Salt. We have some. Uh, Madagascar vanir uh, Ooh, vanilla no. bourbon. Um, vanilla bourbon. Yeah, vanilla mm -hmm. bourbon. We have Ooh. a little bit of baking powder that's going to help it to rise. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you're going to get the eggs in there. Mm -hmm. So just two this eggs. This is nice. For you're this. just dumping mm -hmm. it all in yeah, one bowl. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. We don't like to do complex things no, here at the bakery. No, it should no, taste no. delicious. Yeah. And then to kind of enhance that flavor, I'm going to use a little bit of lemon juice. All that? Yep, all okay. of that lemon juice. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and mix that together. Okay. It doesn't take much. You can just use a spatula. If you had uh, a mixer at home, you mm -hmm. could use that on the low so setting as well. So you can't over mix it? You really won't over mix it here. Okay, so okay. this is going to be fun if you have any children or any, uh, if you want to work with the grandparents. Get or them involved. Maybe Father's Day is coming up, so this is a great uh, way to involve the daughters mm -hmm. or the sons in order to create a treat for a dad. That's cute. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, it's really not that bad. You really can't over mix this at all. Okay. The reason why we do this, is to prevent that. We want to make sure that it's still tender. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add our dry ingredients last. Okay, this I'm going to is... up all the uh, brown sugar lumps. I was yeah. trying to get all of them out. Oh, uh, you know what? If you if you actually don't get them all out, then what it'll do, it'll create pockets of gooiness on the oh. inside of the brownie. So as you bake it, it's going to create like a little pocket of sugar, and that'll melt away. So as you bite it, you might get a little caramel bits. And, Ooh, and that sounds good. Okay, all right. So okay. then I don't have yeah. to worry about that. Okay, go ahead. Yep, and then you just dump all the flour right in. Okay. Yep. You don't have to sift this in. You can just you dump it right in. You don't have to sift it in at all. Okay. That's just going to be all-purpose flour. If you want to get fancy, you could use cake flour mm -hmm. and mix it with all-purpose flour, but if you just have all-purpose flour at home, it's just there. And okay. you just want to beat it up, mix it together until it's just combined. Just combined, okay. Yep, until okay. it's just combined. Okay. While that's happening, typically, I would preheat my oven to about 325 degrees. Okay. A little bit lower because we want to make sure our brownies don't get See, look, you dried can't take out. Me anywhere. You know? I got flour everywhere. You know what? <laughs> it's oh, a, it's okay. Me. I'll totally, and then I'll finish this for you. Okay, thank um, you. And so you just kind of mix it in there. Um, so let's talk about Steel City Bakery, yes. Yes. my friend. Let's talk about it. Okay, so is it open yet? Um, so it's not open yet. We actually operate online. Okay. Um, yeah, blackrosepastries.com. That's the original bakery that I started in 2006. Yep. Mm -hmm. And now we're moving into our brick and mortar Steel City Bakery. That's so, so cool. So we're looking to activate a space here in the Chicagoland area um, where we're partnering with the local colleges. We're util utilizing the local talent and culinary students there as well um, to kind of uh, operate as our employees, and then we're just servicing the community. I okay. love that. Get the kids in there, get them the experience that they need moving Absolutely. forward. Yeah, because you actually started out at like, Le Cordon Bleu? Yes, I started out at the patisserie at Le... school? Right around, it's not too far from here, actually. Yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, not too far from here. So I started there. Uh, unfortunately, the school closed, so I wasn't yeah. able to finish. I had oh. a beautiful son, but um, who's here with me today? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's hiding off camera. Yeah, uh -huh. um, but yes, yeah, so I've had him, and then we've just continued to grow the bakery. Yeah. Yeah, and that's just because they closed it mean you had to stop right. learning, right? Exactly. You know, delayed does not mean denied. Right. Ooh, so. I love it. Does he bake with you, too? He does 
participate. Oh. He actually has competed before, oh. too. Really? Yeah, he's won, like, first place. So yeah, but he just told me that he didn't think he wanted to do this. He's got a little bit of a big hand, you know. <laughs> oh. yeah, a little bit. And, and he's a creative, so. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, so. And then we just dump all of it here. Okay. okay. And you've got it lined with parchment paper. I did. Instead of, like, greasing the pan? Yeah, so you can do it two ways. The professionals use parchment paper because we go to we go to use this pan again and bake the same batch right into it. Oh, God. Right. Um, okay. If you were at home, you could just grease it with a little bit of uh, like butter or Crisco yeah, or something. Butter or, yeah, and I would probably, uh, instead of putting flour on it, I would do sugar. Oh. Like granulated mm. sugar yeah. just so it have crispy edges. Yeah, I like yes. that. Okay. That is awesome. Yeah. And then so we'll just spread this around evenly. If you put parchment paper in here, you might find that it becomes a little bit difficult. But you right. can just kind of hold it down. Yeah, you got to work mm -hmm. with it. Yeah, yeah, you kind of work with it. So you call yourself a sugar artist. Why yes. not a baker? So I'm a sugar artist. Um, I didn't finish culinary school, but I've always continued to develop the sugar artistry. You've uh, In the past, I've done a lot of different TV shows and competitions yes. on the different networks yeah. that, I've, <laughs> that I've done well in. Um, and it focuses on sugar art. So I work with all different mediums, chocolate, sugar, isomalt, sculpted cakes to make things that don't look or appear to be kind of like is that show is a cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love yeah. that. So, um, okay, yeah. so by the by the magic of TV, mm -hmm. you will pop this in the oven okay. for 20, 25 minutes, and then voila, oh, it'll come out just like such. If you're using parchment That's paper, so smart. I love then that. guess what? You don't have anything to worry about because all you have to do is fill it out. If you were not using parchment paper, it'll TV. probably still mm -hmm. be non-stick, okay. or you'll have to score the sides. Okay. okay. Okay, and so we'll move over here so that we can go ahead and start kind of finishing this guy. I like large pieces of brownies, mm -hmm. yeah. but I also like to have moderation control, so I'll cut them into smaller pieces and okay. freeze them so oh, that I can pull them out smart. and treat myself. And so once this is baked, you'll allow this to cool for about an hour or so, mm -hmm. and then you literally will cut it. Mm. That looks, that looks so good. I was going to say the same thing. Like, all oh, these look so goodness. good. Can you also put, like, nuts and, and, and different things inside it? Yes, yes, absolutely. So you have the ability to kind of change up this recipe by mixing in some toppings, like you'll see. We have some sprinkles. We have cookies. We have Ooh. almonds. We have oh, pecan of so such good. nature. You can also use them as a fun topping as well. Oh all right, gosh. Chef Blake, thank you so much for joining us. Any idea when the brick and mortar going to open? Yeah, so we're actually aiming for this fall, fall of 2020. Okay. Uh, Four here, so yeah, and you 